make sure that it's pointing in the right direction. So here, for example, you see that in the corpus callosum, it, it should be pointing in this direction, and uh, they're pointing in, um, they're flipped left, right. Uh, this is not something that you would be able to see just by looking at the FA image. Because uh, the fractional anisotropy just tells you how uh, anisotropic the tensor is, how you know spherical or um, oblong it is, and it doesn't—it's um, invariant to um, a, a rotation of the tensor. So just looking at the FA image, you might see that you know it looks fine, so no problem. But you actually have to look at the directions themselves. And it's important to look at them as lines because if you look at them as the RGB map that I showed you earlier, uh, you still might not be able to see the problem. So for example, here, these voxels would be painted red whether the, um, the direction is this way or whether it's flipped that way. So it would still be primarily left to right, but here they're wrong and here they're right. So again, important to look at um, the primary eigenvectors as lines. And you can look at, uh, for example, here um, um, a slice where you can see the uh, kernel slice where you can see the corpus callosum. You can look at the cingulum on a sagittal slice, make sure the, um, um, the directions are following it correctly, uh, and also the corticospinal tract to check the inferior superior direction. And, see, okay. So we're going to go on to uh, the next tutorial, which will basically show you how to do a simple uh, voxel-based um, analysis of your data. So you are going to use a tool called uh, DT underscore recon, and this is when you, you're not interested in doing any tractography, so we're going to look at Tracula at the next part of the lecture. Uh, but this is uh, just, it will just calculate fit the tensor and calculate fractional anisotropy, mean radial axial diffusivity, etc. Uh, maps from the data. It will uh, do the um, intra-subject registration, so the individual diffusion weighted and T1 weighted um, image uh, with uh, the tools that um, Doug uh, has been talking about. Uh, it will also, um, you will also see in the tutorial how to do the intersubject registration. So register all the T1s of all your subjects to each other uh, in a common template. Uh, you will look at the anatomical segmentation, the A plus A set, in uh, the space of the diffusion weighted images. And uh, you will see how to uh, use the intersubject registration to map all of these uh, FA and mean diffusivity, etc., maps to a common template to perform a voxel based comparison. Okay? So this concludes this part of the lecture, and you can go on with the tutorial. Thank you.